I love that movie. <laughs> So, Infinity Polar Bear is an example of a movie that um, is just heartbreaking. You really went for a very deep, dark, painful story. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an example of one of the movies that you produced as well, right? Yeah. So, you, it, was it hard? Uh, no, because Maya Forbes and Wally Walladarski, the, the writers, and Maya Forbes directed it, they, they were just so great, and the script was so great, um, that, and the partnership was, was so great that it, that was not uh, difficult to, uh, to produce. It was more difficult to act. Yeah. So, so what kind of research did you do into this kind of manic depressive behavior? Well, that's basically me. <laughs> There's more manic people here than you'd imagine. Um, um, yeah. Maya's father, this is a, her story. It's done her. Yeah, Ma Maya Forbes, who, who directed it and, and co wrote it. It's her story. And so she told me a lot of the stories about Cam. She also gave me a bunch of video of him. Uh, some of it in full-blown manic episodes. Um, and I had so many pictures. I had so many uh, recordings that that really uh, became uh, the basis of, of Cam. You know, I've been very lucky to have some parts that I've played that were real people and that I've, I've gotten to know them and I've gotten to understand them, and uh, I've, I've been honored to, to bring them to life on film. And Cam was one of them, but he, he had uh, passed away 15 years before we, we did it. But uh, I used to, sometimes I have dreams that I use in, in my work, and that's weird, but I had a dream that uh, Cam came to me in this dream. He's like, in that scene tomorrow, I really want, I think you should, you should do some karate moves. <laughs> and I woke up and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's not a bad idea. And so the next day I, I was in the middle of the scene and I did some karate moves and uh, Maya's mom was on set and she said to Maya, oh my God, that's exactly what Cam would do. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But the other, the other thing you pushed into existence, as I understand it, was, was the normal heart. That, yeah. that was hard, too. That took a long time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's a beautiful movie. <laughs> that was with uh, Larry Kramer. Larry Kramer, the, the, the famous um, AIDS activist who started, uh, began uh, start up and um, uh, uh, act up and basically began outing closeted, powerful gay men. Um, and he was radical, but he believed that the world needed to see how many gay people lived amongst us in order to save their lives from AIDS. And uh, I had the honor of, uh, of spending quite a bit of time with him. And he opened his heart to me. And um, really, that performance is, 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 a, is real, an homage to him and his life work. But that was one of those, you know, and I, I was very close to him uh, up to the, to the moment he passed away. And that was just a huge gift. Uh, so there's, these, there's a gift of you guys. There's a gift of, you know, being able to do what I love to do. And then there's this other gift of, of getting to see and experience um, people like him and worlds that most of us will never be able to be invited into. And people in, invite me in in such a deep way uh, that they bear their souls to me. Uh, and and that's, that's another beautiful gift, too. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for doing it. Yeah. Um, well, Bennett Miller's Foxcatcher is another, it's a true story. Um, 
so, so this is one where you had to bulk up and, and wrestle Channing Tatum, and I mean, were you confident about this one? No. <laughs> I mean, I was a wrestler in high school, so I thought, well, I'll be able to, I'll, I'll have that down, you know? Uh, and then I found out, well, I, I used to wrestle as a righty, so every move is from the right side. And Dave Schultz, the character I was playing, was from the left. So not only did I have to relearn, I had to forget everything I knew and then relearn it all again on the opposite side. And we, it was about four months of training for that. Uh, and Channing Tatum and I both want to be the dominant male, <laughs> which spelled a lot of trouble for me. <laughs> seeing how he was like 30 pounds bigger than me and stronger than me and about 15 years younger than me. <laughs> so I just kept getting hurt. <laughs> you also got the world's worst haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I had a terrible haircut. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, we're gonna jump right into the clips for uh, Foxcatcher and the great spotlight. Yeah, cool. <laughs> 